There was a time when say no nothing, Chinese man. woman could get married if her feet didn't look like this. This deformed foot was called the lotus foot and was considered extremely attractive to men. Warning. This video contains super awesome content not suitable for people who don't enjoy super awesomeness. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. You guys know who it is. It's your boy Kevin Man. All right, so today we're going to check out 15 weirdest beauty standards around the world, man. So we're going to check out some of the weirdest things that's going around the world, man. But before we get into this video, I need you guys to do me two things right now. Give the video a big thumbs up, subscribe you guys, and you turn that post notification bells on. And let's get into this video, man. Let's see what's some of the weird shit going on in the world, man. There was a time when we were all shocked by the news that Jennifer Lopez had insured her greatest physical asset for a billion dollars. What? And then her unusual feature became the beauty standard. Yeah. But who the hell was the trendsetter in these crazy tribes? Today, we're going to show you the Ooh, most is it the rituals and beauty standards from around the world Ooh, that will shock you. What the hell is this? But first, hit the bell and subscribe I know about the to neck the one. I've seen that a long time ago. You'll have luck in your life. Black How do you teeth? like these ladies from a local beauty pageant? Do you like them? Well, this, this is, is the Wodabi pad? tribe, and the men compete in beauty here. That's right, About you're time. looking at the guys. This is one of the few places on earth where matriarchy reigns. Women yeah, it's about run time. everything, and men wear makeup and keep an eye on their figure. Really? They can only find a mate Holy at the Carowall Fertility Festival once a year. So the men dress up and do their best makeup, highlighting the whites of their eyes and teeth. And what? each color in their outfit symbolizes a character trait. Good thing Damn. we have Tinder for that. The women <laughs> judges for that. of this beauty contest need only to pat the shoulder of the man they like. This is considered a love marriage, even if the woman is already married. The winner gets to choose an unlimited number of women with whom he will live for the following month. That's pretty nice. An unlimited number of women. Let me the know if guys enjoy that, man. Now women have to wear a six to control, kilogram though. headdress on their heads to meet the beauty standards of their people. And it's made from the hair of their ancestors. What? The women of the tribe have been collecting their hair for centuries wow. and passing it on. That's crazy. To create a giant headdress, that woolen threads crazy. and linen are added to the hair and then wrapped around animal horns or a wooden clip. For generations, this bro. This shaped design is attached to the head with white ribbons. These wigs used to be worn on a daily basis, but now they're only worn for holidays. I feel bad for your neck, Some man. Some of them are created from hair Damn. that is several hundred years old. Several hundred, wow. That's a crazy tradition, In this though. Ethiopian tribe, fat men are revered as heroes. Because they're healthy. In the Bodhi tribe, fat is considered extremely attractive. I Every bet. year, the Bodhi hold a beauty pageant to determine the fattest unmarried man in the tribe. Each of them must isolate themselves in a hut for six months and avoid any physical activity. The only menu item is fresh cow's milk mixed with blood. He has to drink at least two liters a day. That's to make the stomach as big as possible. Holy After shit. After all, the winner of the competition will be considered a hero and will be honored throughout his life. Every girl in the tribe dreams of marrying a fat man. Wow. Where else can you find that? <laughs> Nowhere else. Inhabitants of the Padong tribe consider their Cambodia. long necks this is Cambodia, incredibly right? beautiful. Tourists call them giraffe women, but they don't take offense. After all, the longer their necks are, the better oh. chance they have of getting married. To lengthen their necks, they wear a special brass necklace. Girls put the first ring around their neck between the ages of 5 and 9, and then they simply cannot stop. By the age of 45, oh my God. every Padong woman is wearing up to 15 kilograms of tin around Holy her shit. neck. Holy shit! The secret is that because of the weight of the jewelry, their shoulders drop a record 40 centimeters. 
Padong women never remove the rings from their necks they because can't. their muscles atrophy and it becomes difficult to simply oh. hold their heads up. I believe that. Even risk breaking their necks. Yeah, I would think that. Damn, I would not let my woman do While this, man. the whole world is whitening their teeth, the followers of the Ohagaro tradition are certain that there's nothing more beautiful than a black smile. Several centuries ago in Japan, only aristocrats could afford black teeth. It was a sign of wealth. They used a special paint that not only changed the color of their teeth, but also had a characteristic odor. <laughs> Twilight. According to one version, they were imitating the emperor's wife, who had bad teeth. And according to another, only rich people could eat a lot of sugar, which is why their teeth quickly mm -mm. deteriorated. I mean, nice white and smile. Else nice white, pearly whites. Them. Now, modern geishas and fashionistas from Myanmar delight men with this kind of unusual. If beauty. I saw it, I'm running the other way, bro. Like straight up running the other this way. This Mantawai girl is considered very beautiful. Can you guess why? A shark-like mouth with wow. sharp teeth is the standard of beauty okay. for this tribe. Who am I the to judge, man? The more influential a man is in the tribe, Who am the I to more judge? beautiful his wife should be. So they have a ritual of sharpening or sharpening chiseling it. human teeth. Damn. It is carried out using stones and other improvised tools. Damn. And no anesthesia. Woo! The dentist simply removes the Ooh. excess pieces of teeth and sharpens them. If seeing this gives you a toothache, write yeah. in the comments. That's pain, man. That's too much pain. Girls I would not put my Hemba wife through that. Tribe in Namibia at all. are considered the most beautiful in Africa. And they also don't bathe for months because it could ruin their hair. They make their famous dreadlocks from Ochai's paste. They grind ochre into dust, mix it with clay, milk, and vegetable oils. And goat hair is attached to the ends for beauty. Oh, okay. They apply the paste not only to their hair, but also to their entire bodies, so their skin takes on a shiny red tint. It's not okay. only beautiful, but also helps them survive under the African sun. Yeah, I bet the that's, that's what I want to see that. their skin from burns, insect bites, and even serves as a soap. Okay. I don't know if I'll do that, but in okay. the Mwila tribe, girls style their hair with manure. That's right. This octopus is secured to the head with the help of cow excrement. Wow. For starters, they dye their hair using crushed red stones. The ingredients for this seem very simple compared to hair gel. Wow. You just have to mix cow dung with tree bark and oil and add herbs for aroma. I wonder if that helps with the smell, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And as decorations I think so. for the dreadlocks, they use pieces of food. Uh, what one won't do to meet the beauty standards wow. of their tribe. Some people, so I thought like American some girls had a lot to do makeup and shit, but scars, other tribes? And some get them Damn. on purpose to be beautiful. In Ethiopia, girls undergo a scarification ceremony, and it's much more painful than a Fantastic. tattoo. During the procedure, the master uses plant sap and ash to leave relief scars on the skin. Girls are strictly forbidden to cry while scars are being applied, and they do it voluntarily. Because wow. the men of their tribe consider bare skin ugly. And for the men from the Chambri tribe in Papua New Guinea, the scarification rite is like obtaining a passport. Once they reach adulthood, the chiefs make hundreds of scars on their bodies. Okay. They're so bulging because clay is placed under the skin in the process. The resulting scars resemble the skin of a crocodile, a sacred animal of the tribe. Uh, well, I see. Now okay. we know for sure that this guy from Black Panther yep. is at least 18 years old. <laughs> Do you think it's beautiful? Share with us in the comments. I don't know. For me, I, I don't know. I don't think I'll do that. Do you want to win over the that. Japanese? Then remove your braces immediately. They go crazy for crooked Yaiba teeth. Such a smile is distinguished by protruding fangs. Really? Girls say that imperfect teeth make them look younger and childlike. Japanese guys say Yaiba makes girls look like cats. So, if your teeth are too straight, you can get them fixed by a Japanese dentist for as little as 390 what? bucks. Why would you want to get it?
There was a time when gonna no say nothing, Chinese man. woman could get married if her feet didn't look like this. This deformed foot was called the lotus foot and was considered extremely attractive to men. Holy the ideal shit. foot length should not exceed 7 centimeters. For comparison, the foot length of a girl with a size 38 is 24 centimeters, which is three times that. Also, the feet had to be soft, symmetrical, and fragrant. For the sake of beauty, girls had to bandage their feet their whole lives, and it starts when they're five years old. Damn. All the girls' toes, except Bro, for the big one, no, were no, 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 no. I would not put my daughter or my kid through this one, man. This is just torture, man. This is awful. This is this is like, like, like abuse, man. This is basically abuse to children. Damn. How you gonna play with them damn toes, man? What about those guys with foot fetish? Yo, any of you guys got foot fetish? Let me know if you got foot fetish. Would you, would you, do you think it's attractive? Let me know. Amp to the heel and tightly wrapped with cloth. The bones were deformed under the weight of the body, but the girls had to endure, dance, and even work in the field. All that just to meet this beauty standard because big feet were This has to be the ugly. weirdest one so far, man. A complete ban on bandaging feet appeared only in 1949. You can still find several dozen owners of lotus feet in China today. <laughs> if you think that lip augmentation is already too much, you're gonna be shocked by the beauty standards in the Mercy and Surrey they put plates. tribes. They put plates in that, to no. become beautiful, mm -hmm. I've every seen this local before. girl removes her four lower front teeth. Then, a That's hole is crazy. made in her lower lip, and a plug is inserted into it to stretch it more. Holy when it reaches shit. 4 centimeters, the first round plate is inserted into it. It needs to be changed regularly, increasing its size, and thereby stretching the hole in the lip even more. The most diligent girls manage Ooh. to insert a plate with a diameter of 40 centimeters. Holy this shit! This tradition has existed for 10,000 years. What? The plate in the lip makes the girl feminine and beautiful, which helps to find a rich groom who will present the bride's family with cattle. The women make uh, uh, pretty good money too I don't by know. allowing tourists to photograph them. I don't know, bro. There are 256 me. people in the world who are sure that there's nothing more beautiful than a wooden stick in the lip. In childhood, every member of the Brazilian Zoe tribe pierces their lip and inserts a piece of jewelry Holy called shit. ember pot. At first, it looks like a thin reed, but it's gradually replaced by a stick of larger and larger diameter. Look at how elegantly the lower lip hangs down. For this decoration, the villagers are ready to give up even their lower teeth. In addition to the stick in their lips, they appreciate the adornment of feathers, Brazil nuts, and lipstick. But these nah. people don't like clothes at Bro. all. No, nope, not me. Instead of headdresses, residents of the Brakpa community in India wear bouquets on their heads. Okay, that's not so bad. All residents of this community, regardless of that's their not gender, so bad. adorn their hair with fresh flowers every day. Yes, yeah, that's so wear bad. them as part of a headdress, while women weave them into braids along their entire okay. length. They that's even is, work this in the beauty. field and manage the house so this way. I bet you don't feel so embarrassed about going into the supermarket all dressed up now, do you? No, not at all. <laughs> Grandmothers with gauges in their noses and tattoos? That's no big deal for the Apatani tribe in India. Most of the older women here wear yapping hollow plugs in their nostrils and have a tattoo right in the middle of their face. That's just their way of looking beautiful. But before such an unusual look became wow. the standard of beauty, okay. it was a way to keep them safe. Really? After all, other peoples would often abduct Apatani women since they were famous for their incredible beauty. There are still many incredible beauty standards that is in the crazy, world, man. but that's enough for today. That is Which insane. Which beauty trend impressed you the most? Which one would Damn, you Damn, that's never crazy, try? man. Right in the comments. Man, that, that's that's honestly crazy, man. I, I there's, some, there's a lot of weird shit going on in the world, man. I clearly just seen a lot of weird shit, man. Let me know which guys thought which one's the weirdest, bro. For me, 
honestly the, the neck one was pretty damn weird and the plate in the bottom lip man that, that has to be the one of the weirdest for me let me know in the comments which one you guys thought it was weirdest man anyways end of the video guys know what to do man give the video a big thumbs up subscribe because you know i'll catch you guys in the next one